When solving simple problems such as this one, keeping track of all of the necessary information isn't very difficult. But what about something a little more complex? When you start dealing with a lot of information and complex formulas and units, it's best to structure your work, and one way that you can do that is by using the GUESS method. GUESS is an acronym, so all of the letters have a special meaning, a step in the process. You start by identifying the given information in a problem. What values are given? Next, you identify the unknown value. What is it that you're solving for? Third, you identify an equation that contains all of the variables, including the variable that you are solving for. Next, you substitute the given information into your equation. Finally, you solve the equation by simplifying all values and units to get your final answer. Let's do a couple of practice problems to demonstrate the guess method. So I'm going to start by just writing guess and I'm going to space it out a little bit and I may have to change that we'll see but you'll see as we get into the two S's you need a little bit more room when you start putting numbers in uh, so second thing I'm gonna do is go through my problem and I'm gonna identify my givens alright so I'm given several pieces of information uh, I'm given that the truck starts from rest and accelerates to 36 meters per second and it's able to do this in 12 seconds. I'm also told that I am solving for acceleration. What is its acceleration? That's what we want to find out. All right, so I'm going to put my givens under G. So I'm given an initial velocity of 0 meters per second because it's at rest means you're not moving. Uh, I'm given a final velocity of 36 meters per second and the truck does this it changes its velocity from 0 to 36 meters per second over a time of 12 seconds alright so my unknown my u is going to be acceleration because that's what I'm solving for that's what I don't know yet now I need a formula that contains all of these variables so that I can solve for my unknown Okay, now in this case it's easy. We have a formula that um, basically solves for A, but it's not always the case. There may be times where you're going to have to rearrange the formula, and we can always cover that at a later time. So the formula we're, that we're using is acceleration is equal to V final minus V initial all over time. Okay, and so I'm going to substitute in the values that I have. So I have a V final of 36 meters per second. I have a V initial of zero meters per second. And I have a time of 12, whoops, 12 seconds. All right, so again, all I did here, I'm gonna shift this over just a little bit. All I did was take this formula and put these values into it okay so I put my initial velocity here my final velocity here and my time here and that's how I got this okay so yeah let's do that real fast okay now I'm gonna simplify this even further so 36 minus 0 is 36 and that is meters per second um, that is over still over 12 seconds all right and I can simplify that even more. I can say that 36 over 12 is equal to 3 over 1, and that's meters per second, uh, and that's over 1 second. And so that equals 3 meters per second per second, or even simpler, 3 meters per second squared. And that is my answer. All right, let's try one more, and we're going to do the same steps. We're going to start by writing guess. All right, now I'm going to go and identify the information I'm given. A new driver has to slam on his brakes to stop from hitting a pedestrian. If they were going 12 meters per second and they come to a complete stop in three seconds, what is the acceleration? Okay, so same idea. I'm identifying all those given pieces of information. Um, I'm given that they were going 12 meters per second, so they had an initial velocity of 12 meters per second 
they have a final velocity of zero meters per second. They came to a complete stop. So V final is equal to zero meters per second. And they did this over the course of three seconds. It took them three seconds to go from 12 meters per second down to zero meters per second. My unknown, once again, is going to be acceleration. So I don't know what acceleration is. That is my U, my unknown. The formula, again, I'm looking for a formula that I can, that includes all of these pieces of information that will allow me to solve for A. And so again, in this case, we are looking at um, A being equal to V final minus V initial, and that is over time. Okay. I'm going to substitute in the numbers that I know. I know that V final is equal to zero meters per second. There we go. Uh, and subtracting V initial of 12 meters per second. And that is, whoops, going to be over three seconds. All right. So simplifying that in my solve step. I end up with negative 12 meters per second, and that is over three seconds. I go even further, that gives me negative four meters per second over one second. I can simplify that even further to negative four meters per second per second, or negative four meters per second squared.